So you've seen the look of the new Shapeoka 5 Pro. And now you think your machine looks like this. Not true. With about three minutes and $25, I'll give you some options for adding lights to your Shapeoka 3 or 4 gantry. Let's get to it. Under gantry lighting is something a lot of you have asked about, so I ordered up a bunch of different kits, all with different parts and different features. One of the first concerns is how do you route the power to the LEDs? I'm gonna have it on the back left corner here of the gantry. It's gonna come out and run only through the left side drag chain right to this back left corner where everything else is wired in. Your VFD, your plug for your router, whatever you have on the machine probably goes to this back left corner. This is where we've located a power strip with our machine, so it's one button to turn everything on. No matter where your main power is located, you'll want the lights to come on with the machine or put a remote control somewhere. After all, you're in charge. Oh, well. King in the castle, king in the castle. I began with the Capetronics $20 set. It's a dimmer and 33 feet of lights. The power cord is too short. Nothing some basic soldering couldn't address. Would you want a dimmer on these? I don't see a reason, but I installed it anyway. For all sticky connection points, use alcohol and pressure. You want all of this to stay put. The connectors are cumbersome. I would hardwire everything I could. There's an entire parts list in the description below. Go ahead and peel and stick the lights underneath the gantry, taking care to make it as straight as possible. Again, clean that gantry with alcohol. You do not want these lights coming off once established. Go ahead and move down, strip a little bit more off the strip, stick a section, make sure it is taut and pulled correctly, then come back and press it all the way along the length of the gantry. Your peel and stick install is complete. The Capetronics lights were capable. For 20 bucks, yeah, not bad. Next, high quality hit lights, 50 bucks. You need a separate power supply because it's not included, set it to $16. Now you have materials for a whole nother LED project and I do love things that light up. There's more soldering to do with this one, but you can control the location of the power supply. I like this. I taped it to the side of the machine, I wired it up, put a plug on it, and bam, these are bright. Pretty nice. I went to move to the RGB lights and these were super duper cheap. Far too big a distance between each one of the LEDs to the point where I couldn't even come up with a decent cut spot underneath the gantry. Had to order another set because definitely I wanted to go party mode. So which kit would I choose? I think the Capetronics kit provides the best value and a reasonable quality of lights. You might have to lengthen the power cord. You have the dimmer option. There's a lot to be done with very little money. If you want to move up to the hit lights, yeah, they're high quality. You'll have a bunch left for another project. You're going to need that external power supply. Your costs are definitely higher, but you will have more light under the gantry. And I would suspect long term, the hit lights will last longer. No matter what, I would go with waterproof lights just to be sure that you don't get interference from dust or other things over the long period of time. Waterproof probably worth the extra few dollars. There you go. It didn't take much time nor money to add lights to your gantry. It's one of my favorite modifications to a three or four. We'll be back again here in the studio with more information, ideas, and inspiration.